Good morning, children. Let us begin with Standard 5 EVS, the first unit, Super Senses, and this is the part 1. Has this ever happened with you? That you were sitting in your school ground with your friends at the recess time and having your snacks and some bird coming, flying from the sky comes and snatches your food from you. Or sometimes a dog keeps uh, following you. So this happens sometimes. Why does this happen? This is because of the senses that the animals have. How we human beings have five senses. That is the sense of seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing and feeling. These are our five senses. So even the animals have senses in them and their strongest sense of uh, sense is smelling. These are the super senses. That is why this lesson is, lesson is called super senses. The best sense of is in animals is smelling. This is because of smell. So these are the few examples of senses. As I just said, that you are eating in your playground, an eagle flew down and took away your roti. Or you drop something sweet on the ground and within minutes, many ants collected around it. So this is all example of senses. What senses? That is the strongest sense, that is the smell in the birds and all the animals, even the small insects like ants. Their sense of smell is very, very, very strong. Third example is as you walked softly past a sleeping dog, its ears shot up at once. So this also we have experienced that when we are walking uh, from somewhere and a dog is sleeping, you will see that it will uh, stand up at once. It comes to know that someone is passing from there. This is also a sense that is of hearing. They can hear the slightest walk uh, sound around them and they become very alert. So this is all because of the sense organs in animals. Now let us read and find out why, why does it happen. Why does it happen means why do the animals react in that manner. So let us read. Animals also have different senses. They can see, hear, taste, smell and feel. Some animals can see their prey from far away. Some can hear even the faintest sound. Some animals can find their friends by the smell. The animal world is full of examples of amazing senses. So here it is said that how we human beings have five senses, the same way those senses even the animals have. One of the senses of these are very strong in all the animals. Some animals have a very strong sense of smell. Some animals have a very strong sense of hearing. Some animals have, uh, from the smell, they can recognize whether that other animal is from their family or not. So this sense of smelling and hearing are very strong in certain animals. And the whole world is full of such amazing animals which give an example of different types of senses. Now talking about the ant, how did the ant recognize a friend? How does an ant recognize that this another ant around it is its friend? An ant was walking along on the ground. It saw a group of ants coming from the other side. The first ant quickly came back to its hole. The ant guarding the hole recognized it and let it in. Now this what example is it? It says that one ant was on the ground and it saw another group of ants approaching towards it from the other side. So that one ant it quickly ran back into its 
ant hole now that ant hole was guarded by another ant so when this one ant ran back home that other ant who was guarding the hole could recognize this one ant by its smell and it recognized that this ant belongs to this ant hole and is of their own family so it let that one ant get into the hole so this is because of the smell even the ants smell and they recognize their friends and family members so how did the ant know that the other ant were not from its group so that was all because of the smell only because of the smell they knew that the other ants which were approaching from the opposite side they are not of their group and only that one ant was of the group did the guard ant recognize that one ant yes it recognized the ant from its smell that is why it allowed that ant to enter into the ant hole so this is just one experiment that if you want to see uh, you can try it at home that you have to drop some sugar jaggery is good or anything sweet on the ground wait till the ants come there and uh, if you drop this sweet things on the ground and if you wait for few minutes you will find that ants start coming towards that sweet so how long did it take for the ants to come you have to write uh, or it is just for our information that it, of, after a little time you will see that the ants start approaching this sweet why because it starts getting its smell did one ant come first or a group of ants came together only one ant comes first and then slowly slowly if you see you will find that one ant after the other they start coming towards this sweet what did the ant do with the food what does the ant do when it sees the piece of sugar fallen on the ground it will start pulling that piece of sugar towards its ant hole and it will take that piece of sugar into its ant hole where do they go from there they go into their houses that is the ant hole they all live over there and they store food in that hole so that in times of difficulties like rain uh, when they don't get any food they can eat all this food which they have uh, protected and kept under the ground in their ant hole and if you see when you drop the piece of sugar you will see that these ants they always move in a line they walk one after the other and they all move in one line one ant is guiding them and they move one behind the other in one line now carefully without harming the ants block their path for a while with a pencil now observe how, how do the ants move now if if you see a line of ants moving on the ground and slowly if you keep a pencil on the ground on the path on the way where the ants are moving what will they do correct they will climb on the pencil and they will move from the on the pencil and move again on the ground they can't pick it up and keep it at the side so what they will do they will climb on the pencil and they get down and they move again on the ground many years ago a scientist did many experiments like this he found out that as the ants move they leave a smell on the ground the other ants follow the smell to find the way now see how smart even these small ants are many experiments were done on these ants that how do they how are they attracted to a sweet smell and uh, whatever it was the scientists did many experiments and that is what they found out that as the ants are moving on a path to find their food that on that path they leave some smell for the other ant to smell so that they get the smell of their family ants and they can follow it towards the way where that ant is going so their sense of smell is very sharp
Now you can guess why the ants behave like that when you had blocked their path. Some male insects can recognize their female by their smell. Now insects also, God has created a beautiful world and he's given these sense organs to all the birds and animals so that even they who cannot talk can find the others by their smell. So in certain insects, the male insects can find their female insects by their smell. Have you ever been troubled by mosquitoes? So now talking about mosquitoes. So now let us see what about mosquitoes we have to learn. Have you ever been troubled by mosquitoes? Just think, how do they know where you are? Mosquitoes can find you by the smell of your body. They also find you by the smell of the sole of your feet and the heat of your body. Now these mosquitoes also, how do they know that where a human being is? By the smell of the body. Even the body temperature, the heat of the body and the soul of the body. So this also, the sense of smelling is very strong in the mosquitoes. Now what does this silkworm say in that box towards the right? I am a silkworm. I can find my female worm from many kilometers away by her smell. Now just see, a small insect, a silkworm, it can find its female from many kilometers away. It knows that in a little distance, the female silkworm is there. How? Only because of its smell. The sense of smelling is very, very strong. Have you ever seen a dog sniffing here and there? What do you think it is trying to smell? So sometimes we've seen na? dogs are just running from here to there and they are uh, smelling something and as if we feel that they are searching for something and they keep on smelling and finding from here to there. Dogs mark out their own area on the road. They can make out if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its new urine or potty. So now these dogs also have a sense of strong smell. They keep on smelling and by the smell they know that they belong to that area. And they make out uh, when another dog is in their area by the smell of the urine and the potty. So they know that this is all because of the sense of sm smell that they can smell. They can smell the area where they are living also and when they smell some certain urine they know that whether it belongs to their dogs in that area or it is some other dog of some other area. In what ways do human beings make use of this special sense of smell of dogs? Anyone? Right. Human beings use these dogs for finding out certain uh, thieves. Which human beings? Mostly the policemen. They have huge dogs to find out certain killers and to find out certain secrets how do they use them? Because of their smell. The sense of smell of a dog is very strong. Once they recognize the smell, they can take you to that area where the same smell is found. So the policemen use the dogs. When do you find your, ans your sense of smell helpful to you? List some examples like to know by its smell that food has gone bad or that something is burning. Name the animals that you would be able to recognize only by the smell without seeing them. Now sometimes even our sense organs uh, we come to know uh, by the smell. 
how by the smell that something is uh, if something is on the uh, gas and it is burning so from the smell we come to know that ha huh, and we forget that something is there on the gas and when it starts burning we come to know that uh, something is on and uh, it's on the gas and now we need to name certain animals that even which we can recognize from their smells uh, without seeing them so certain pet animals if you have certain pet animals in your house and uh, your eyes are closed you will recognize that where your pet animal is from its smell now we need to write the names of five things whose smell you like and five things whose smell you do not like now there are certain things uh, whose smell we like and we like to smell it more and more and there are certain things uh, whose smell we don't like and we just cover our uh, noses when we don't like that smell so such smell we have to write five smell uh, things which whose smell that you like and five things whose smell you do not like in this following table which is given to you so this table is given to you in your textbook uh, if you want you can write or you can just think of it that which smell do you like we like to smell uh, uh, the smell of the rose we like the smell of certain sweets chocolates ice cream all these smell we would like some like the smell of kerosene some like the smell of petrol so this is the smell that we like some they don't like the smell of kerosene and petrol so you can write it in the next column um, the the smell of urine when we are passing by of garbage all that smell we don't like so that we can write it in the other column the smell that we don't like so this is this is just an exercise to think about that which smell you like and which smell you don't like and if you want you can write it also in your textbook now from the smell of the clothes of your family members can you say whom do they belong to try to recognize the clothes of any two members of your family in this way now even our sense of smell is good and each family each house they have a particular smell each family has a particular smell and when you smell the clothes of your any family members you can recognize that whose clothes these are they belong to whom whether it is your mothers whether it is your fathers whether elder brother sister or younger brother or sister so this is common and in every house we have a particular smell so we can also recognize our family members with their smell now why is it like that that we react in such a manner now let's read today rajni had to go out for some important work she had to leave her 6 month old son deepak with her sister sushila sushila also had a baby of the same age it was funny that both the babies did potty at the same time she happily cleaned her daughter but when she was cleaning her sister's son deepak she covered her nose with her dupatta now why did she do so now it was her sister's son it was not her own son she had no problem in cleaning the potty of her own daughter but she had problem in cleaning the potty of her sister's son because that he was not the family member of her own family so she could get that bad smell from that potty but when she cleaned her own daughter's potty she did not get that bad smell why because she uh, was used to that smell she cleans her daughter every day but not her sister's son so that is why she felt the son's potty little smelly and she did not have any 
uh, difference of smell when cleaning her daughter. So this is also because of the sense of smelling. So now, Sushila covered her nose when she cleaned Deepak's snappy, but not when she cleaned her daughter. Why do you think she did this? We just discussed because the, her daughter's uh, nappy she cleans every day. So she is familiar with the smell but not with the na nappy of Deep Deepak, her sister's son. Have, how do you feel when you walk near a heap of garbage? Think of the children who spend the whole day picking things from such garbage. Now, when we pass from a place where there is garbage, uh, dustbin full of dust, uh, garbage or from the dumping area, we just can't breathe. We need to close our nose. We don't like the smell at all. But uh, people and small children also, if you see, they are search searching for certain plastic and paper from such garbage. Don't they get such smell? Don't they feel that it is something bad? They don't feel. Why? Because this work, they do it every day. So this, with the smell, they don't get irritated. It is a smell which is common for them. But for us, when we go sometimes, we feel that that smell is very dirty. Even the people who come to take the garbage, that uh, the van, they are driving that van. They don't feel anything bad that they are driving a dustbin, a garbage van. The smell, they are acquainted with that smell and they don't make it does not make any difference to them for them the smell is good for us that smell is bad is a smell good or bad for everyone in the same way or does it depend on how each one feels about it it is right good and bad smell it differs for everyone if you like the smell of petrol it is not necessary that everybody will like the smell of petrol some don't like the smell of petrol. So, this depends on how one feels about that smell. Followed? So, this sense of smell is different in everyone. Some like it, some don't like certain smell, some like certain smell. The smell that you like, others won't like. And the smell that others like, that smell you might not like. So the sense of smelling is different in all the human beings. So dear children, I hope you have understood this first part of super senses. Now the remaining lesson I will share with you in the second part. So your homework is that you need to read this lesson at least one or twice till this page. So thank you and have a very nice day.